follow you if you want it. <laughs> like, are these real bullets I think that's a pintail hen you made me kill. Oh, yeah. That's my pintail for the day. Thanks a lot, Walter. <laughs> Georgie, <laughs> that was a beautiful decoy. Oh my god! It was. Uh... Was that? Did I shoot too far? No, no, you're fine. Close to you. Man, that was a beautiful decoy. <laughs> Place. Oh no. Dog hide just wiped out. Uh. Hand. Well, there's my pintail for the day. Man, those pintail hands are such beautiful birds. Yeah. Now, thank you for watching another hunt with me. I'm out here today with my friend Walter, which I'll, you'll get to know him a little bit more in a second. We got here about shooting time. The wind's going to be picking up at about 10, so we thought we'll just get here at shooting time and we'll set up and, and hopefully hunt the wind. So we had this mini cold front with a big wind, and right now it doesn't seem like it's brought in a lot of more birds. But we've got this little slough here. It's the same slough that I hunted a few days ago. It is a beautiful little spot. That pintail hen I just shot, man. Just, man, I don't know if I've ever seen a pintail drop that vertically before. Yeah, just right down. I figured she would drop a little bit, spin around, but man, it was just straight down. Yeah. Committed. Not your best uh, best shooting display for your debut. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> off, to a, off to an 0 for 3 start. So. Too close. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's what we're going to say. I thought you hit it on the first shot you took on the water. Yeah, I, I may have put some pellets in it, but I was shooting through this brush, so I, I couldn't really tell, but yeah, I thought I was dead on it the last yeah. two, so go figure. But well, we've got one. We're in no rush today. we got a lunch that my awesome wife packed for us. And we've got a wind picking up about 10. It's just going to get better and better. So we are in absolutely no rush. I should have just let that bird go away because I really didn't want to kill a pintail hen. But it was just right there. Sometimes you just got to do it. So Georgie got, plus Georgie got her retrieve, which was nice for her to get some energy out. So hopefully this day will progress. So hang with me. Like I said, this may be a long day because the movement is not ridiculous right now. But hang with me. I think we're going to uh, end up getting on some birds by the time this is all said and done. That was like right over our heads, right behind us. Go ahead, Hoyne. Let's get that one. Well, let's see what the other one does. You want to take that one on the water? Yeah. Go ahead and get him. I should have called that earlier. I apologize. No, it's all right. I was going to see what those other two were. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I still probably should have called it. It's up to you whether you shoot those or not. Your choice. Pintail ham? Yeah.
Oh, there we go. Georgie! I bet that third shot felt good. I'm gonna have to go six for six. I'm gonna have to go five for five on my next birds just to get my percentage. Yeah, but anytime you miss the first two and that last one hits, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Here. This gun is off Hands. High, higher than most duck guns, and I should have kept that in mind. Well, there we are. We are done with pintails. Yep. So we both got ours. We are done with pintails. I'm gonna go. Can I move these spinners to the right a little bit? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll move them. I, I'm gonna turn the camera on anyway. I, even those birds are wanting to hug. Yep, you're exactly right. Well, we got our pintails. I wish they weren't hens, but that's just how it is. Well, time is ticking on here. It is 10:45. And the movement has severely, I mean, there hasn't been very much movement to begin with. But now we're at the point where we've seen like one duck in about an hour or something. So, I'm really hopeful for the 1030 to 1 o'clock range. And as of right now, well, it's not really happening. I was really hoping that the mallards would arrive. We just don't have a bunch of mallards in the state right now. They're just not here. There's some, but not. I've not talked to a single person that shot a mallard. Well, I've talked to one person that shot one mallard limb at one time. He found a little pocket. But people just aren't killing a bunch of mallards right now. So, hopefully, over this Thanksgiving time frame, when a little more cold comes in, these birds will show up. But and we we still may have some success today. The wind's picking up, so I'm I'm not. I think we'll probably probably still end up shooting a few, but the movement is bad. <laughs> but we packed the lunch today, so it's gonna wait it out. So here's what the hide looks like today. I got little Georgie covered up here. She likes to stick her head out. I put a bunch of extra crap on there so she can put her head out and still kind of be covered a little bit. Looks pretty good. This may be the highlight of the day. I know, your wife's <laughs> so nice to take care of her. Oh, she's wonderful. Thank you. There you go. She is pretty wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and make a move. It's just not working here. We're going to go look around different areas and See if we can run into something else, but this is not working right now. So, this could be the end of the video. There could be more. So, I guess you'll find out right now.